Welcome to Unlock Layouts. In this video, today we are going to discuss the topic why lower metal having high resistivity and higher metals are having low resistivity. Let's start the video. So this is very interesting topic. So most of the students or most of the VLSI engineers, so they might have get the questions in interview. Why lower metal having high resistivity and higher metal having low resistivity? and the resistivity can be calculated by the formula r is equal to l by w so here t is a thickness of the metal any metal having some thickness right so this t is denoted thickness of the metal l is the length of the metal and w is the width of the metal and the overall l by w ratio is equal to r and one more thing here we have to mention that is rs so RS is the same sheet resistance of the metal. So any metal, gold, copper, aluminium or any metal having these three ratios which means length of the metal, width of the metal and thickness of the, thickness of the metal and sheet resistance of the metal. If you want to know what is mean by RS exactly, I have a one more video separately for RS. You can watch that video and come back to this video and you can easily understand what is mean by RS. So RS is nothing but sheet resistance of the metal. So these four things is very important to calculate the resistance value. So here figure 1, in figure 1, so consider the cross sectional view, no? this is a figure 1. In this figure 1, I have mentioned the layout after manufacturing, after fabrication, one IC has been done now. So the layout of the metals will be like this, it will be uh, look like this. So this bottom these lines we can consider as a mass region which means any gate terminal, drain terminal, source terminal. So, it, that, that, this can be anything but here this gate terminal or source terminal has some via. So, this is particularly this place right. So, this these are all the vias. So, here we have one via. So, here we have one via. So, this is usually poly to metal one via. So, here one more gate terminal is there. So, this gate terminal, gate terminal or drain terminal any terminal from the mass we have three terminals right any one of the terminal so that is connected to metal one so this is metal one so usually metal one the first thing what will happen in metal one the thickness of the metal one is very low so which means t as i mentioned the formula thickness of the metal is very low in lower metal if the thickness is reduced obviously resistance will increase because this is directly proportional which means if the W is increased, resistance will decrease. If the T is decreased, the resistivity will increase because it is directly proportional to the bottom. If the length is increased, obviously the resistance will increase. So if the W and T is decreased, resistance will also increase. So this is a directly proportional to the resistance formula. So first thing, each and every metal, metal 1, metal 2, metal 3, metal 4 up to the top metal TP we can mention as a top metal TP or few of them they will take it as a AP, upper metal or any metal. So each and every metal having different different RS value, first thing sheet resistance of the metal vary each and every metal. This is the reason why every metal having different kind of resistivity. So each and every metal having different different RS. So based on the RS we have to calculate resistance value. If the RS is changing, obviously resistance will change. So this is the first reason why the each and every metal having different different kinds of resistivity. And again, why lower metal having high resistivity in the sense, usually first three metals, these first three metals, most of the foundries, they will be fabricated these most three metals by aluminium, Al or Ai. So most of them Ai, right? So it's aluminium. So first three metals it depends on the foundry not I am not talking about the all the IC chips or all the integrated circuits will be fabricated based on the aluminium first three metal it is not like that based on foundries it may depends on foundry to foundry but most of the foundries I am talking about above 90 nanometer not below 90 nanometer I do not have any idea above 90 nanometer I am telling 90, 135, 100, 180 I am talking about higher technology nodes. So higher technology nodes most of the lower metals having different kind of RS and the metal will be fabricated by aluminium. So here just take a look here aluminium having different thickness. So this is having different thickness the metal too 
this is having some different thickness here metal 3 having some different thickness so each and every metal metal 1 metal 2 metal 3 metal 4 first of all first thing it the metal having different different kind of sheet resistance so first thing based on the sheet resistance resistance will vary because length of the metal we can't calculate here because length of the metal based on the routing the length will the length will differ but width and thickness we can easily calculate length, uh, width and thickness will be keep on varying so thickness of the metal here it is varying second thing first rs is varying each and every metal second one thickness of the metal is varying so first three metal having different different thickness and metal four having some thicker thickness metal five having some extra thickness metal six having some extra thickness so top metal we can take it as a metal seven it is having some kind of extra thickness so the thickness of the metal is decreased so what will happen based on the formula the resistivity value will change okay the resistivity value will totally change based on the thickness of the metal so l is directly proportional w is indirectly proportional if l is increasing l is increasing r will increase so l is increased r will also increase but w is increased r will decrease see w and the thickness is increased r will decrease so thickness increased means the resistivity value will decrease so this is formula resistance formula so here in metal 7 compared to metal 1 metal 7 having higher thickness and as well as this is having different rs also rs also main thing and thickness also the secondary thing so first thing is rs second thing is thickness these two things are varying because of these the sheet resistance and the resistivity of the each and every metal will vary and one more thing metal 7 to metal 4 so i will tell you metal because i tell you i told you before lower metals will be fabricated by a a right which means aluminium top metals will be fabricated by cu copper so top metals will be fabricated by copper aluminium and copper having different different criteria and this is having different different sheet resistance of the uh, sheet resistance based on the sheet resistance so these are all the reasons these, these are all the reasons why that each and every metals having different different resistivity so based upon this cross sectional view based upon this um, fabricated view you can easily understand how the sheet resistance will be there and also via see m7 having some different kind of thickness and uh, length and width of the wire and m7 having some different kind of thickness wire and m4 m3 this will have some different kind of thickness of the wire so wire is also the main thing but the metal resistance is not primarily based on this wire the metal resistance is primarily based on the width of the metal and thickness of the metal why the lower metal having higher resistivity in the sense thickness of the metal is very high was oh, sorry very low thickness of the metal is very low that is why the resistance value is very high and one more thing sheet resistance also take place here sheet resistance also the matter here so everything the formula resistance formula is calculated based on these four criteria so i hope you understood what why the top metals and lower metals having different different kinds of resistivity and second video figure 2 will come here so figure 2 so this is a mass this is the poly of the device this is a poly this is a poly poly two different masses see you can easily calculate the width of the metal width in the sense this is the thickness of the metal t so thickness of the metal will be x here so here for m2 we have a different kind of thickness so consider this at 2x m3 is also having some same if we consider same thickness 2x but m4 m5 m6 m10 every metals having different different thickness so this will be one somewhat 5x this will be one 4x so lower metal so the thickness also matter here so this is the main reason why each and every metals having different different kind of resistivity i hope all of you understood my video very easily so if you like my video please click like button if you want to subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel if you have any queries please kindly contact us to email id and follow us on my facebook page and thank you for watching my video once again I am kindly requesting all of you to subscribe my channel.